Hey guys, so this is a video on rule of inference. So here we have the problem. We want to invalidate the rule of inference below by finding a counterexample that makes the premise true and the conclusion false. So we can read this. Here we have the um, rule of inference and we can read it like this. If P or Q is true, which is our premise number one, and not P or not Q, which is our premise number two, is also true, then we can conclude P. So let's write that down to really kind of understand it. This is saying P or Q and not P or not Q is equal to P if P or Q is true and if not P or not Q is true. Okay? So we can use a truth table to solve this. I'm going to go ahead and create the truth table. We have our P value. We have our Q value. We'll have P or Q. Then we'll have not P or not Q. And then we'll have our P or Q and not P or not Q. Okay, I'm gonna draw some lines for some columns here. All right, so now our P could be true, our Q could be true. So I'm gonna go ahead and put another column there, or another row there. Uh, we could have P is true and Q is false. And then we could have P is false and Q is true. And then they both can be false. Okay, so now we get P or Q. Well, if P is true, then this makes the statement true regardless what Q is, but we get true or true, so we get true. Here P is true, Q is false, so we get true or false, we get true, false or true, we get true, and the false or false is false. So now we get not P, not P is false, or not Q, not Q is false, because Q is true and P is true, so this is false or false, so we get false. Um, now we get uh, not P, which is not true, which is false, or not Q, which is uh, not false, which is true, so we get true. And then here is the opposite. Our not P is true, because P is false, or not Q, which is true. Um, not true, which is false. So we get true or false, which again is just true. And then we get uh, not P or not Q. So that's not false or not false, which is true or true. So that makes the statement true. Next up is we have our P or Q and not P or not Q. So we can use these other two columns to figure this out. P or Q is true. So we get true and not P or not Q is false, so that makes this false. And then we get uh, true for P or Q here. And not P or not Q is true, so this is true and true, which is true. Here we get P, and Q, or, P or Q is true, and not P or not Q is true, so this makes this true. And then here we get uh, P or Q is false, and not P or not Q is true. So that makes this statement here false. So now what we want to do was we wanted to find a counterexample that makes the premise true and the conclusion false. So the only places that the premise is true, which is here and here, are these two columns. I'm going to put that yeah, just these two columns. So uh, these other two columns don't matter. Now Anywhere we see true here, we should also see true for our p-value, or wherever we see 
yeah well that's basically it there we should see true in our, our p-value so here is the place where we don't see that we see that our p is false but it should be true because of the rule of inference so now we found our counterexample. so the answer would be let p equal false and q equal true and now we found our counterexample that makes the premise true and the conclusion false so thank you guys i hope you really enjoyed this video um, please leave likes please subscribe please leave comment comments and uh become a supporter on patreon thank you guys for watching i'll see you all in the next video